Hello, I am Mike Kaganski. I am software engineer at Collabora Productivity. And my talk today is called How Collabora Online Benefits LibreOffice. Collabora Online drives much of the development happening at Collabora Productivity. And since uh, Collabora Online is based on LibreOffice technology, many improvements in Collabora Online couldn't happen without improving LibreOffice code. Being one of the most active contributors to LibreOffice from the day one, our team continues this tradition. And Collabora Online provides new uh, fields of improvements together with the traditional areas improvements in which are mutually beneficial. Since my time is limited, I won't be able to cover all the 3300 commits uh, created by Collabora, which landed in master over the last year. So I will only try to make an overview of the most user visible new features appeared in LibreOffice versions 7.4 and 7.5, uh, which were released in this uh, one year period. I will not uh, be able to mention bug fixes, performance improvements, code cleanups, uh, optimizations, which all are highly important, which also benefit both desktop and online, but which would m make me go on after the conference already ended. So what happened in LibreOffice 7.4? One of the most important and never-ending effort is compatibility. No matter how nice your product is by itself, if its users can't interoperate with other users, they won't be happy users and they won't be user, uh, your users after all. So, we improved much in the Microsoft Office compatibility area. Uh, and these improvements are not only bug fixes, but... Uh, new features as well. Uh, borders, uh, borders of tables, borders of paragraphs got better. Clearing breaks and content controls appeared in Writer, uh, helping users to interoperate with Microsoft Word. Calc got spark lines and thousands of columns, enable, uh, enabling uh, users to open and create very wide spreadsheets and spreadsheets containing uh, these spark lines. These new features, driven by the needs of online, improved LibreOffice for every user. Impress and Draw got the initial support for theming. Uh, uh, the th uh, color teaming uh, in particular. And also, we have improved scripting. Some new VBA application object properties got support in LibreOffice too. So, uh, people can now use uh, more interoperable scripts. One of the features not related to compatibility, but which uh, I like very much that appeared in LibreOffice 7.4 was native integration of HTTP proofreading API by language tool, uh, the leading open source linguistic solution providing both spell checker and grammar checker. And language tool premium users can enjoy the benefits right in the LibreOffice now. Now let's move to the features implemented by Collabora Productivity that appeared in LibreOffice 7.5 and help both desktop and online users. Again, we did much in compatibility area. Thanks to Collabora's work, uh, content controls got further improvements, charts obtained, data tables, uh, VBA compatibility increased more. LibreOffice Libre users got uh, ability to employ DeepL translation expertise to translate their text uh, right in the editor. Very nice new feature, in my opinion. We don't forget accessibility. It is a very important area. Uh, we already uh, implemented accessibility checker uh, several uh, versions ago, but uh, in uh, 7.5, uh, 
uh, it got new rules and also now it's possible to enable experimental options and uh, try the new automatic accessibility check working when you type all in all it looks like the benefit is mutual all along collabora loves libreoffice and collabora online is a strong driver of improvements that make desktop users lives better we hope that every user, uh, be it a user of Collabora Online or a user of LibreOffice, would love the new features that we added as much as we liked working on them. Thank you.